CPD trainer Jeanette Basson believes children in early years who are alert and energised learn more. Today she's going to show delegates to her course some simple techniques to get children moving. I want to liven you up a little bit and get some serotonin kicked in before we have the negatives because I, I think we need to just feel a bit, little, try and get a little bit happier about our outdoor classroom. So I'm going to show you some things now. So if you stand up and push your chair in. I like to show delegates how movement can impact on your emotions and I like to show them how it impacts on you as an adult and therefore it's going to impact on a child because their brain between naught and eight is rapidly developing. So the impact on you as an adult is phenomenal. So therefore the impact on a child is going to be triply phenomenal. Some children in your setting will not wake up till dinner time because that's when they go outside and actually physically move. How scary is that? So what I want to show you is some little techniques that have minimum input, but maximum output. We very often expect very young children to sit for periods of time, probably a lot longer than they should be sat. And we're wanting them to take all these facts in. And yet, at the end of the day, if we were putting these facts in with a movement base, the child would often retain those facts a lot quicker through the movement than when we're sat and we're telling them and we're thinking that that's concentrating because that perhaps works for us as adults. Give me a round of applause! <laughs> OK, now, what I do with this is I say to them, right, everybody, clap. So we clap, and then I say, pasta, 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 it's good! You do it till your hands sting. Come on, give me some brain firing up. Pasta, 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 it's good! Get with your friend or just somebody that sat next to you today a good old-fashioned playground clapping, OK? <laughs> Get it. Oh, we've got some more able clappers. You can almost feel in the room when I get them to clap, just simply something simple as clapping. The atmosphere in the room changes and it's like, ooh, ooh. And then when they clap with another person, they make a connection. The laughter starts at that point. So say you were counting, for example, and you started doing the clapping, and then you got faster and faster. It's going to impact on you more because it's more exciting. You can see there where I'm clapping, my body is shifting, I'm feeling excited, and my brain is waking me up a lot more. You can already feel the shift in energy in the room and I'm seeing smiles on people's faces. It's about attention, balance and coordination, basically. And that is what we want to create in the early years, is the fact that the brain and the body are married together. And when the child leaves foundation, they are fully coordinated, left and right side, and they have control over their body parts. EYFS now requires all children to spend some time outdoors every day. These activities work well outside because they require the minimum of resources. They're quick, basic and effective, but something not everybody thinks of doing. Another simple exercise to do is jumping, is literally jumping, right? So let's wake up the downstairs by jumping. <laughs> Woohoo! You can feel the difference in your energy. It works an absolute treat in just getting them going and focusing them. Doing it, I really actually felt myself waking up and engaging. I really think it's an absolute fantastic idea, and not just for our children, but maybe across the board. So if it's changing us, it's what's it going to do for children?